Hi everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we are making this beanie with bling. This is so adorable. I love the massiveness of this bow. And this hat is so incredibly soft. I'll get into all the supplies you're going to need and then I'll get into making this piece. Uh, so big huge thank you to Yarnspirations and Red Heart Yarns for providing this yarn today. This is a more yarn. It is so buttery soft and smooth and warm and this will be so wonderful for any baby hat. Um, so today I'm going to show you how to make this a basic beanie hat and then we're going to add the embellishment. But you can, you know, don't don't add the embellishment. Make the beanie hat in all different colors for boys, for girls, anybody. And uh, you can make it in any size. I do share in the tutorial how to make this for all sizes. So make sure to watch and learn how to do that. Um, and I will have information on the notes section also in my pattern, which is on yarnutopia.com for free. The other supplies you're going to need, I have a little cute button here. I got this from Joanne Fabric Stores on sale, La Mode. And this button, here's the back of the print here. Um, let's see here. It does not, oh, one and a quarter inch, 32 millimeter. And there were two buttons on this package and I used just one of them. So that is um, the buttons I'm using, but you can use any type of button or bling that you have to embellish your bow. We are also going to use an H size crochet hook. I'm just going to set this up here. Look at how cute that is. We're using an H size crochet hook, which is five millimeters. This fabulous hook is from the Etsy shop, would be fancy. I'll put a link in the description of this video for you to purchase hooks like this. The hook is fixed inside there. This is an ergonomic hand carved wooden handle hook and there's left-handed hooks, right-handed hooks. This is international shipping. I mean, this is best for everybody. So they're great gift ideas too for the crafter or crocheter in your life. So make sure to jump on that. They have sales very often. Also, you're going to need a scissors and I lost my yarn needle. There it is, <laughs> yarn needle scissors for cutting your yarn, sewing things together, sewing things on and sewing in your ends. Those are the two tools. And then if you want to make this bigger or smaller, I recommend having a measuring tape because this does go off measurements and multiples of five. So very simple project. Just need a measure tape to make it bigger or smaller. And I share that in the tutorial. So make sure to check out all the links in the description of this video. You'll have links to all the supplies you we see here. And also there's a link to the crochet pattern, which is for free on my website, yarnutopia.com, as well as all of my social pages. There's Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Pinterest, all the places. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you check that out and see all my other crochet tutorials on there. And a uh, big thank you to Yarn Inspirations for this yarn. My dad's behind my shoulder here who's videotaping this, filming it, editing it, and putting it up on YouTube for everybody. So thanks to him for his time and effort. And thanks to you for watching. Let's get started and make this beanie with bling. All right, to start off, we're gonna make a slip knot. So put your short end over your long end, then fold this down and then pull your long end through and pull tight, insert your hook and we can begin. So let's start out uh, for the height of our hat. So we're, we're going to be making this um, uh, short ways, I guess. Um, like we're gonna be making it um, the long way from the top of your head to your ear. So however long you need it to be, I'm going to work in multiples of five and I am going to chain, or I guess five plus one. So I'm going to chain 31. Okay. So I'm going to chain, uh, 30 is multiple of five. So yarn over and pull through one, two, three, just like this, just chain an amount that will be the height of your hat. Okay. So my hat is going to be about eight inches. I would say almost nine inches and, uh, nine inches tall. And, um, I'm going to chain a multiple of five, which is 30 and then add one more. So 31. So I'm going to chain 31 and I'll be right back. All right, so I just chained 31, and as you can see, if you lay this down, this is going to be the height of the hat, okay? And I can measure, measuring tape. 
so like I said it's gonna be about nine inches yep nine inches which is in centimeters 23 centimeters okay so that's how long my hat is going to be for a uh, 9 to 12 month baby so now what we're going to do is work along this chain we are going to half double crochet into the second chain from the hook so the loop on the hook doesn't count as anything so count one and two this chain right here where I'm gonna turn my chain towards me like this so I'm gonna work in these back ridges of the chain you can work in any loop of your chain so the second chain one two right here we're going to yarn over go into that second chain from the hook right there yarn over and pull through and then yarn over and pull through all three loops that's a half double crochet so we're gonna do that in the in that chain and the next four chains so yarn over go into the next chain yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three loops there's two we're gonna have five half double crochets total so go into the next chain yarn over first then go in yarn over pull through and then yarn over and pull through all three loops there's three next chain has the fourth one and the next chain has the fifth one so this is the considered the brim part of our hat and now we're going to be working the body of the hat is going to be all double crochets so yarn over go into this next chain right here in the next 20 chains I am going to do double crochets now for your hat if you change up more or less than me um, just do half double crochets for five and then every middle one here is going to be a double crochet until you have five chains left okay so I'm going to double crochet so yarn over pull through that chain then yarn over pull through two loops and then yarn over and pull through those other two loops that's a double crochet so we're gonna double crochet for my chain it's going to be in the next 20 chains for yours it's just going to be up until you have five chains left so yarn over go into the next chain yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two so you can make this hat however big or small you want it to be just on measurements um, so the first five stitches are half double crochets then these middle stitches are all double crochets and the last five stitches or last five chains here on this one is um, we're going to be doing single crochets for the last five stitches so I will double crochet in each of these chains until I have five chains left and I'll show you what to do in those last ones and we'll go on to row two. All right, I have five chains left here. One, two, three, four, five. In these last five chains, we are going to single crochet. So no yarning over, just go into this chain right here, yarn over and then pull it through and then yarn over and pull through both loops. Okay, just like that. So that comes down in height significantly. <laughs> So go into the next chain and single crochet in each of these last five chains. One, two, three, four, and five. Awesome. Now that was row one. Okay, <laughs> my last chain is giving me problems. There we go. So I'm going to pull this out so you can see my work so far. This is what it should look like. So we have the five... Um, half double crochets then 20 double crochets and then five single crochets okay so now going on to row two this is one of our repeat rows we are going to chain up one and turn our work around okay and we're going to be working in the top of the stitch here we're gonna single crochet in each of these five single crochets so go in to this very first stitch right here can you see that right right there go into that first stitch okay yarn over pull through and then yarn over and pull through both loops that's the first stitch go into the next single crocheting here one two three four and five now in each of the double crochets in the middle here we're going to double crochet in each one of those so yarn over go into the top of the stitch just like this okay you can see I'm going through the front and back loop and then we're gonna double crochet you can see that increases in height significantly 
but it looks good here and it will look really good when we finish this hat so I'm just gonna double crochet into each of these next 20 stitches just like this once I get to the half double crochets when I finished double crocheting in these next 20 stitches I will come back on screen because we're actually going to work those half double crochets a little differently all right just finishing up those double crochets in the middle now we have five stitches left one two three four five what we're going to do instead of working into the stitch like we've been doing we're going to work into the back loop only just for our half double crochets for this whole project so you can see here is the front loop right here okay the one that's in the back right here that's the back loop so we're going to go in here just like this Okay, on each of these stitches and we are going to half double crochet in the back loop only for only the half double crochets for this whole project so yarn over go into just the back loop of the next stitch yarn over pull through and then yarn over and pull through all three loops okay again yarn over go into the back loop of this next stitch and make your half double crochet okay again yarn over go into the back loop and this is number four and our last one five and that you can see is going to create this line right here and that will be the brim of our hat okay so now we are going to go on to row three chain up one and turn your work around okay so now we're starting with the half double crochets on this side so remember remember I said for only the half double crochets we are going to work in the back loop only so yarn over go into the back loop you'll have to turn your work towards you like this and you can see that back loop right there of this very first stitch okay so ignore this chain one here just yarn over go into the back loop of the stitch right there then yarn over and pull through and then yarn over and pull through all three loops so again next stitch is number two this is the back loop only here this is number three next stitch is four and then five okay so we're done with the half double crochets so now we are going to double crochet in each of these double crochets in the middle here and we are going to work in both loops so yarn over you can go into the actual stitch right at the top I'm going you can see I'm going through the front loop and the back loop okay so we're just going to double crochet now okay so yarn over go into the next stitch like this yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and that's it so now when I finish double crocheting in each of these next 20 stitches and I have my five single crochets left I'll show you how to finish row three and then we will be on to our repeat Alright, I just finished double crocheting into each of those stitches and I worked in both loops so there's no line like this in the front. So half double crochet in the back loop only, then double crochet in both loops. And now we're at the single crochets at the end here. There's five stitches left. We are going to single crochet in each one of those five stitches. Again, working in both loops of the stitch. So you can see I just go in, no yarning over, just going in, then yarning over, pulling through yarn over and pull through two and then do that for the rest of the stitches on this row so one two three four and five and that's row three so now you can see here I'm gonna pull this up here so you can see this is how our hat is getting going so now what you're going to do is repeat rows two and three alternate them um, just for row four, you're repeating row two. So single crochet in the first five stitches, then double crochet in the next 20, and then work in the back loop only of these last five stitches and half double crochet in each one of those. Then chain one, turn your work around, and work row three for row five. So half double crochet in the back loop only of these five stitches, okay? And then work in both loops for the double crochets and then the last five stitches are single crochets okay so just repeat rows two and three 
for rows 4 through 35. Now, yours might be longer or shorter. To, to know that, um, I am going to do 35 rows because that is up to my measurement. For a 9 to 12 month size hat, you want to measure just the brim part where your half double crochets are. You're going to measure across, all the way across, to measure, um, I believe it's um, 17 or 18 inches. Let me get my finished piece here. I have a finished piece off camera, but I'm going to quickly measure this and then I'll show you um, in just a second. Don't look, don't look, don't look. <laughs> okay, yeah, stretched, it's about 17 inches. So um, that's how long or how wide I want to make these rows um, up to 17 inches for the 9 to 12 month size. I will have a chart on my website to show you what sizes you need for uh, the size that you're going to make. If you're going to make a smaller hat or a bigger hat, um, what measurement. It basically goes off measurements. So you can do as many rows of these as you want and just repeat rows two and three for however long you want it to be. I will come back and I'll show you what to do once you finish all your rows. All right, when you are finished with the length of your hat, so this is what it should start to look like uh, when you finish your rows. I finished 35 rows total, um, and I ended at the bottom part of the brim. So you can see the brim here is kind of sectioned off because we worked in the back loops only. So you can see that the brim is um, sectioned off. So I finished at the bottom of the hat. Okay, this is considered the bottom of the hat okay so this is what your work should look like now if you flip this or folded it in half you can kind of see the workings of a hat beautiful so what we're going to do once you have the length you need end on a row that um, ends with the half double crochets at the bottom of your hat and we are going to fasten this off and sew it up so what we're going to do I'm just going to chain one and we're going to cut our yarn really long for sewing. So that's about long enough. Okay. And then we're going to continue to pull it through that chain one there. And that fastens it off and we have a long tail to use for sewing. So then we're going to grab our yarn needle right away. Yarn our needle with that long strand. Okay. And then we are going to Fold this, like I said, fold this in half. Lovely. And I'm going to mattress stitch. You can whip stitch this however you want to um, sew this up. We're just going to go into the opposite side from the inside out. Okay, and I'm just going to pull. And it's a lot of yarn, so we're just going to pull. Then we're going to go to the opposite side and kind of like lacing a shoe, we're just going to go back and forth just like this and next stitch just line the stitches up and we're just going to it's going to take a little bit of time but we're gonna make it through here just go to the next stitch and pull just keep going from the inside out okay so inside out and pull okay inside out on the opposite side and pull Okay, and the inside out, just like this. So I'm going to do that all the way till I get to the very top, and then I'll show you how to cinch the top closed. All right, when you sew up the seam, it will be uh, non-existent, really. You won't be able to really see that that is a seam, which is fabulous. So what we want to do now, um, I'm going to tie a knot here. So we're just going to go through those same stitches just from the outside around here, just like this. Keep your finger in the loop, come back through the loop, and then pull tight. Okay, and that creates like a knot that's a little secure. And now we just want to sew up this top hole here. So what we're going to do is you can see these holes on the edge of your work. We're just going to go in and out those holes on the very edge of your work. Okay, and just pull your yarn through and then cinch it closed. Okay, so I'm going to do that all the way around 
and you don't want to pull your yarn too tight though because uh, it could snap and then you're left with a sad short end <laughs> so just make sure not to pull too hard or fast or too tight so I'm just going to come all the way around you can just continue watching because I'm gonna I'm coming back to the beginning right here and then once we cinch it closed we're gonna tie it off there we are back to the beginning sweet so we can tie the just cinch it like this sweet okay again I don't want to pull too tightly because your yarn could snap just keep that in mind Okay, but the bow, you can put the bow on top or you can put a palm on top and this will um, be hidden. Okay, and then to reinforce it, you can go across the way, just like that, and kind of wrap your yarn around the hole, just like that. And then to uh, fasten this off, just go under some stitches. Keep your finger in the loop, come back through the loop, and pull. Okay, and you can do that once or twice, and then once it's secure, you can uh, sew in your ends. So make sure to sew in all your ends as you go. I'm just putting it underneath some of these stitches, just like that. And then back and forth just like this okay and then you can fasten that part off and then you want to f uh, flip this um, right side out so just flip it like that and there you have a cute hat but we want to add a bow to the top but if you want just a plain hat there you go super simple hat and even this bottom portion you can flip up the brim if you want to and that is so cute oh my gosh okay so I want to add a bow to the top to make it super fancy and extra of course so I'm gonna grab some more of the yarn and uh, we'll get to making the bow next all right for the bow <clears throat> excuse me we are going to make a slip knot just like I showed you in the beginning of this tutorial and then we are going to start off by chaining 45 okay that's a sizable amount um for the chain for the bow so yarn over pull through yarn over pull through and just chain 45 and or you can chain 50 it doesn't matter if you want a bigger bow the bigger you want your bow the more chains to make so do that and then i'll come back and i'll show you what to do for round one all right so we have our long chain now if you want to make your bow bigger or smaller uh just fold this in ha in <coughs> excuse me in half and um you'll be able to see how big your bow is going to be so this is how big this is going to be one edge of our bow and this is going to be the other edge of our bow and this is going to be the center of our bow so you can kind of see how it's going to lay I guess and be so that's how big our bow is going to be okay so pretty massive over here so what we're going to do is um, work in rounds so without twisting your chain don't twist your chains here we're going to come to the first chain way over here and what I like to do is kind of flip it like this and then I like to go in the back ridge like I showed you in the beginning how I like to work in the back ridges of my chains we're gonna go into the very first chain okay and we are going to single crochet so go in there so it's gonna form a ring and then yarn over with your working yarn pull it through that chain and then yarn over and pull through two loops so we single crocheted in the first chain and we're actually going to single crochet in each of these chains around so go into the next chain and just single crochet okay that's what this uh, whole bow is made out of is um, single crochets so I'm just gonna single crochet in each of these chains around there will be 45 stitches for my bow if you made more or less chains it will be the amount of chains that you made on your foundation chain for the amount of stitches you'll have so I am going to do that and then I'll show you round two 
All right, I just single crocheted in each chain around. So this is what your work should look like. Make sure your piece did not twist at all in any way. And now we are actually going to be working in continuous rounds and in the back loops only. So I'm going to pull this out and show you. Um, like I showed you in the other uh, piece uh, for the hat, this is the back loop, okay? So we're going to be working in the back loops only. Now, you don't have to. That's like a creator's choice uh, preference. But I like the design that this bow is going to have with the front loop being unworked. So we're working in those back loops only and we're working in continuous rounds and we are going to single crochet in each stitch around for rounds two through twelve. Okay, so I'm going to do 12 rounds total. If you need to put a stitch marker right here to mark your rounds, but I can see my tail right here and that's uh, where my beginning is. So I'm going to just count 45 stitches all the way around and work in those back loops only and I'm going to do that for 12 rounds total working in those continuous rounds. And once I'm finished with round 12, I'll come back and I'll show you how to actually create your bow. All right, so I just finished round 12. As you can see, we did 12 rounds and worked in those back loops only so that you can see these lines all the way around. Now you're like, what the heck, Nadia? That doesn't look like a bow. Well, I'll fi we'll figure it out together. <laughs> We'll get through this. Just slip stitch into this next stitch to fasten off. We're going to go in. You can go through both loops or back loop, doesn't matter. Yarn over, pull through and through to slip stitch. And then chain one. So yarn over, pull through, just like that. Cut your yarn very long for sewing purposes. And we're going to pull it through that whole chain one there, just like that. Okay. So we have a long strand and this tube looking thing. So what we're going to actually do is put this toward the center back like this okay this is our back and this is the front of our bow right here we're going to take our thumb and push in the center so kind of fold it and then pull these two back oh look at that it looks like a bow now <laughs> so we're going to take that long strand and wrap it around i'm going to try to do this so you can see what i'm doing <laughs> Okay, we're going to take that long strand and wrap it around our center to make sure that it is secure. Okay, take your time with this. I know I'm doing it quite quickly for the camera, but take your time, make it look good. Perfect. Okay, so there's your bow. So what we're going to do is take our yarn needle. I guess I cut my yarn a little too long here. Let me cut this shorter so it's easier. <laughs> there we go. All right, so I'm gonna take my yarn needle and we are going to go through the bow. In the back, just like that. And kind of just uh, pull tight. Okay, not too tight where you can snap your yarn or anything, but there's the bow, okay? So now we want to attach this to the hat, and if you want to, you can go around a few of the stitches in the back, keep your finger in that loop, and then come back through that loop and pull tight, okay? And then we're going to attach this to the top of our hat, so make sure you find where the back seam is which is a good question. I think it's right here. Yep. <laughs> I was like, where's my seam? Okay, so there's the back seam. So I'm gonna lay this to the front. Okay, make sure to see uh, how you want your bow to be attached. So I want mine to be, okay, there's this long strand. I have to hide this, but I will in a minute. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to attach this bow to the top of your hat. And we're going to go into the hat and then into the bow. Okay, perfect. And pull tight. 
oh my goodness this is gonna be so cute i'm so excited for this this is adorable this would be cute for the holidays but also any time of the year <laughs> <laughs> when it's chilly out in the spring, in the winter, in the fall. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at how cute that bow is. Oh my god, it's so massive. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to keep going around and around, um, sewing this to the top of the hat. Okay, this will all be hidden, so don't, don't worry. We're going to put a button in there. So we're going to actually come to the center of our bow right here okay and then this cute button oops right here i want to sew this to the center which i actually got this button at um joann's so i'm going to it's like a cute little vintage button so i'm just going to slide that on oh my gosh look at how adorable i'm obsessed Okay, and I'm going straight to the back of the bow. Okay, if you guys haven't seen yet, I have a Bowtastic hat where my niece is modeling it too, and she is so adorable, and I'm totally sending this to her, and she's going to take pictures in this. <laughs> she's so cute. This is going to be so cute. <laughs> I can't even right now. Oh my god. Okay, I'm having way too much fun with this project. I hope you guys do too because this is so fabulous. Oh my goodness. I love this. This is so cute. And it was so quick too. Like what an easy project to just bling up and make it look super fabulous. Oh my gosh. So as you can see, I'm just um, going back and forth, tying knots and sewing in this end, hiding it. So this is kind of self-explanatory. <laughs> just attaching that button and then sewing in this end in the back. Okay, and once you feel like you're secure and everything looks good, you can cut your yarn short. Make sure to sew in any extra ends that you may have and straighten out any pieces that are crooked. <laughs> oh my goodness. I absolutely love this project. I'm going to make this again and you can make this in any colors. You could change the color of your bow. You could change the color, you know, make a different colored hat and just add a different colored bow. You can make um, detachable bows, which would actually be super cute if you made a bunch of different bows and then like put like buttons on the back to like attach to the hat same hat different bow different day <laughs> super extra this is so cute there it is I'm obsessed I love it so much there is the beanie with the bling whoop whoop finished thank you so much for watching and learning how to make this adorable hat thank you to yarn inspirations for providing that yarn today for this project and thanks to my dad back there who's filming this whole tutorial i love this hat so much thank you for watching and i hope that you've already hit that subscribe button but if you didn't just hit that subscribe button and i'll see you in the next video happy hooking